Never Moon Hunting. It was made in 1350 BC, in the late 18th dynasty. We can find it in the British Museum in London. The museum says about it, Nibamun is shown hunting birds in a small boat with his wife, Hatshepsut, and their young daughter in the marshes of the Nil. Such scenes had already been a traditional parts of Tomb Chapel decoration for hundreds of years and show the dead Tomb Owner enjoying himself and seeing beauty. As the hierographic caption here says, this is just the half of the composition. The other half was lost. The two old photos and the small fragment of Nebamu and his young son show us the original composition. A cat is hunting bird, same as Nebamu. Cats in the ancient Egypt were family pets. This painting could symbolize the fighting of sun god against enemies of light. The painter filled three spaces with small animals. We can see several plain tiger butterflies on the walls. Wall paintings in the tombs tell us the life story of the king and gives him a how-to to the underworld. He has to go through the nine gates on the road to underworld and answer the questions about their life. For example, have you been a good king? Or did your citizens like you? At the last gate, the dead king put his heart to balance scale. The heart has to be lighter than a feather floss. Otherwise, he can't go through the last ninth gate. The heart was the house of soul. Just a few words about the painting style. It looks like a frieze. Paintings tell stories to us. The stories depicted like an ancient comics. The painted story goes around the walls. The figures show the bigger surface of their body parts in the painting. We see the front side of torso and the profile of the face with frontal eye in one figure. The size of the figures are different. It shows the social status of painted persons. Human figures have strong and dark contours and don't have shadows. They have filled with only one monotone color. Thank you.